Hi everyone! Just a quick little guide video here. I've been working on all the Stardew Valley marriage guides and it occurred to me that I haven't yet mentioned where to get the bouquet or the mermaid's pendant in any of those videos. The items you actually need to date or marry someone. So I wanted to get this out there in case anyone's having trouble finding the pendant. It can be a little tricky if you don't know where to look. Keep in mind this guide is full of spoilers. If you'd rather discover this content on your own, I'd recommend not watching this video just yet. When you begin a new game in Stardew Valley, naturally you start out with zero hearts of friendship with all the NPCs of Pelican Town. If you look at the list of NPCs, you'll notice that some of them have 8 available hearts and some of them have 10. The ones that have 8 possible hearts are the ones that you can date and eventually marry. Once you get one of these potential spouse NPCs up to 8 hearts, you are then able to ask them to date you, which you do by giving them a bouquet of flowers, available at any time in any season at Pierre's shop for 200 gold. Simply give the flowers to your dream date and it's official. They'll now be labeled as boyfriend or girlfriend in the NPC list with a little bouquet icon next to their name. This unlocks those last two hearts. You'll need to spend a little more time after that further increasing your friendship level with your boyfriend or girlfriend. Once you've reached the full 10 hearts with them, you can propose. To propose in Stardew Valley, you'll need what's called a mermaid's pendant. There's a book in the library that mentions it. It's this one all the way up here underneath this stack of books. Marriage Guide for Farmers. Before you ask someone to marry you, you'll have to date them for a while first. Ask someone to date you with a bouquet from Pierre's. When you're ready to pop the big question, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Everyone knows what it means when you present them with one of those. It's rumored that on stormy days, the ghost of an old mariner appears in Stardew Valley, clutching just such a pendant. After the wedding ceremony, your partner will move in with you. Remember to treat your spouse well, they still like gifts even after marriage. So that should help point you in the right direction to find the pendant. If you want to avoid the spoilers, now is the time to click off the video. In order to obtain your mermaid's pendant, you'll first have to repair the bridge on the beach with 300 wood. This unlocks the tide pool area. The old mariner hangs out here on rainy days before 7 p.m. in any season. Even though it doesn't technically rain in the winter, you can get him to spawn by using a rain totem. Then he'll be there the following day. The mermaid's pendant costs 5,000 gold to purchase, and he will only sell it to you if you are dating someone, have gotten them all the way up to 10 hearts, and have upgraded your house at least once, enough to get the kitchen. I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended, and they'll know exactly what you mean. After you obtain the pendant, Simply find your spouse to be and give it to him. And that's it. Hope you found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed it, please leave a quick like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.